Hey everybody, it's Jim here, and yesterday we were talking about Sire Guitars, and it's impossible to think about Sire Guitars and not think about Larry Carlton, because if you shop for one, you would see his name is right before all the actual model names. Why is that? And if you don't know who Larry Carlton is, man, I don't, I don't know if we can be friends, quite frankly. Legendary guitar player, and obviously he had some say in the design of a few of these instruments, specifically the H7, which is the semi-hollow body guitar. Now, it got me to kind of doing a little bit more research, and I stumbled upon a podcast by Corey Wong, and you guys keep saying that I look like Corey Wong, or referring to me as Corey Wong. Do I sound like him? Not just when I'm playing guitar. I don't know. Anyways, at the end of that podcast, Corey was asking him about gear, and one question he had for him was, if money was no issue, what's the one thing guitarists should buy first? Okay, now here's my last one is, what's a piece of gear that every guitar player needs? Price is not an issue. If price is not an issue, being non-specific, I would say, get the amp that you want. And this brings us back to the age-old question, what's more important, the guitar or the amp? Really, at the end of the day, the right answer is the player. What's in the hands, how your technique works, all that fun stuff. But when you take that out of the equation, you're already really confident with how you play, you like kind of your technique, you like the tones that you're able to get. Given the choice, which would you rather have? Kind of mid-level guitar and a really expensive amp, or a mid-level amp and a really expensive guitar? Leave me a comment and let me know why you would go one route or the other down below. It also begs the question, is it worth modifying an amp? I know we always talk about modifying guitars, whether it's the hardware, the pickups, this, that, the other. Is it worth taking kind of a budget amp? A five, six, seven hundred dollar amp, that's considered budget at this point, kind of crazy. But besides the point, is it worth retubing the whole thing, throwing in a really high-end speaker, and is the result really gonna justify it? I don't know. If you've had any experience with that, also let me know down below. However, that's all I have for you guys on today's quick upload. I have been really busy, as you can see. I am very tired, as you can see. I have a lot of comments to catch up on as well. I feel really bad that I'm not responding as quick as I used to. It's just, you know, there's more coming in than on top of that. You know, the real world, really kicking me in the ass sometimes. However, leave a comment. I will try to respond to it as quickly as possible. Like the video, subscribe, and I will see you tomorrow for something that might have to do with guitar amps. Take it easy, you guys.